number one. Today, we are going to flip the boat over. Phil is here. Phil is going to help me put the boat on the sawhorses. Thanks for your help. Yeah. So I am going to recover this hole for sure because I used the wrong fabric on this hole. I got some of this uh, different material. It's in the box. I don't feel like taking it out right now because I don't get really itchy. 1708 fabric. I'm just gonna put some of the, a few layers of that over all of these repairs to get that extra strength I need. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna start sanding the old repairs down. Wow, my battery's at zero percent. I stopped using the palm sander and started using the grinder and it definitely went a lot quicker. So as you can see, I, I'm gonna leave the, the fabric that I put on here and I'm just basically gonna go over top of it. It's all prepared for the new fabric. Just gonna quickly get these patches here and then maybe tomorrow I will start the fiberglass process. Okay. So this is the roll of fiberglass cloth I got. This is the first shape I need. I'm gonna cut it out, then trace a few other pieces. So I've been cutting out these uh, patches and will fiberglass them in today. Hello everybody, we got Phil Busk here. Oh. Wanna introduce yourself, Phil? Hi, I'm Phil Busk. <laughs> I'm here so that Luke doesn't die of uh, resin allergies. I'm allergic to the fiberglass resin and Phil has offered to help me finish the haul because he's not allergic to the resin. At least we certainly hope so. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess we'll find out, eh? So today I'm gonna just be the cameraman. Just don't blame me when your boat blows up the first time you take it out on the water. <laughs> mm. pretty close. We're doing a five to one uh, mixture. I probably stirred that too vigorously. There's like a bunch of bubbles in it now. Really? Oh, that's fine. We'll work the bubbles out. So we have a sheet of wax paper that we're laying the patches on. We're gonna impregnate the patches with the resin as well as we can. Yeah, hopefully no one's watching this who actually knows what they're doing. 
Yeah, we're. I'm we're, probably doing this embarrassingly wrong. We're we're a bunch of noobs over here. But we're learning a lot as we go. So the mat side That's down. For sure. We're gonna put the mat side down on this fiberglass patch. All right, just cleaning the surface with acetone. Getting any debris and particles out of the surface. Yeah, you can make sure the edges are like super damp as well. Also, I don't want to pull like all the fiberglass off the edges, but. Clear. That's better. <laughs> oh, the lighting, but it looks a little bit dry. Yeah. It uh, might not be. A little bit right there. Oh, yeah. That's See if that. Did it feel? Oh yeah. Nice. Easy money. Boom boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Just load it up with the rest of the resin, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I think it's probably got enough resin in there already. Just to work with just gotta crush it out. Good. 
new little guy there. Where? Right there. I don't think so. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> oh, is it right there? There's an illusion. See? You have trash can in here? Yep. There's a blue one over there. Put a little bag in it. Well, thanks to Phil Busk, we got all the patches done. Huge shout out to Mr. Phil. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome. Lord. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you. <laughs> Look at these. Professional fiberglass work right here. Got it done with the proper with the proper fiberglass mat. So that will give it a lot of extra strength. So one step closer to finishing the hull. I guess we'll wait for that to all dry. Probably take a solid day to let it cure. And then I'll see if it needs any body filler. So if you guys have any ideas on boat paint, I'll have to do a little bit of research. Apparently there's a few options. So Phil and I got a lot done on the boat today. Um, yes, this is the second time that I'm doing these patches. But the first time I did these patches, I didn't use the proper material. This is what I used the first time. I just used the uh, regular fiberglass cloth. So this is definitely a lot thinner. So that's what I used the first time I did all the patches. And then I purchased this roll which is the proper stuff to use. And it's definitely a lot, a lot thicker and holds up, will hold up a lot better on the hull. So today, today we got all those done, which is great. I'm glad to have these finished. I'm gonna just let this stuff cure. And then once it's done, I'll sand them down and probably have to do a little bit of body filler. So all the patches are finished. And now that the patches are all finished, um, the next step is to fill in all the uh, leftover crevices and dents and divots. Just prepare the whole bottom of the boat for repainting it. Then I gotta figure out what kind of paint to use. But now that that's all done, um, I can move on to the next step, which is probably paint. So that's good.